Hi dear one, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem, here one circuit given in terms of capacitance. So I am asking that find the overall capacitance between X and Y. How can you find it? So when you observe carefully, this is a vision bit circuit. So first of all, read out this as a vision bit circuit. So first of all here, observe here this is a node A. It have two nodes, this is node A and this is node B. So between node A and node B, we have only one capacitor that is 10 Faraday. So first of all, draw that component that is 10 Faraday we have. So between node B and node A. So keep here X and Y here. This is X, this is X and this is Y. Now between B node and X node, we have only one capacitor. That is 2 Faraday capacitor is there. So 2 Faraday is connected to X and B. So between B and X, we have 2 Faraday capacitor. Now similarly, between B to Y, we have 4 Faraday capacitor. Next, A to X. We have 4 Faraday capacitors there. Next between A to Y, we have 8 Faraday capacitors there. Now it is a vision bridge. So in the middle we have 10 Faraday capacitor. So let's consider this is C1 capacitor and this is C2 capacitor and this is C3 capacitor and this is C4 capacitor. So according to Wheatstone Bridge, the opposite capacitor's value product if they are equal, then it is a balanced circuit. So opposite means here C1 and C3 are there. So whenever C1 into C3, that is equal to the opposite are C2 and C4. This is C2 equal to C4. So whenever this condition is satisfied, so then it is a balanced bridge circuit. Let's check here. C1 is 4 Faraday. So 4 into 4. That's equal to 8 into 2. So here 16. Here also 16. So both are equal. So then this circuit is a balanced bridge circuit. So whenever the balanced bridge circuit is there, then how can you find the overall capacitance? That is C equivalent between X and Y. So at the time, so take uh, above elements. So here we have, to have, we have two elements are there, that is C4 and C3. Below X and Y we have two elements are there, that is C1 and C2. So between these elements, C1 and C4 and C3, their product, that is C4 into C3 upon their sum, that is C4 plus C3 plus, similarly, between these two elements, product each other first upon sum, C1 plus C2. So this is the standard formula for finding the overall capacitance whenever the circuit is a balanced circuit. Now substitute all the values here. Then we get C4 is 2 and C3 is 4. Between 2 into 4 upon 2 plus 4 plus next between these two elements. 4 into 8 upon 4 plus 8. So by simplifying this, we will get 4 Faraday. So this is the equivalent capacitance for the given circuit. And this is the process of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.